Now, over the weekend, some Rhode Islanders received their second and final dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. Right now, we're up to about 121 people fully vaccinated. As concerns about a delayed vaccination schedule mount across the nation, some believe delaying the second dose might be wise. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie joins us now with the details. Well, the FDA says it's been following discussions about reducing the number of doses, extending the time between doses, half doses, or even mixing and matching vaccines. Right now, the FDA says there just isn't enough data to support that that is safe. Both Pfizer and Moderna's COVID-19 vaccines require a two-dose regimen. Pfizer's doses are given three weeks apart, while Moderna's is four weeks. The concern not enough people are being vaccinated quickly enough is sparking a global debate about the two-dose requirement. Denmark has approved a delay of up to six weeks between doses, while the United Kingdom said it will wait 12 weeks before giving the second dose. We should prioritize having as many people getting the first dose as possible. And uh, that, that will allow us to get protection to more people. The UK is also allowing people to mix and match vaccines, meaning for now one could get shots from Pfizer and Moderna. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration says while it's reasonable to consider and evaluate this in a clinical trial, right now this idea or delaying vaccine doses runs, quote, a significant risk of placing public health at risk and would undermine the historic vaccination efforts to protect the population from COVID-19. The nation's top infectious disease expert, Dr. Anthony Fauci, says the stakes are too high not to stick to the two-dose regimen. Go into the trenches, go into the hospitals, go into the intensive care units and see what is happening. Those are real numbers, real people and real deaths. Now, this debate could change in the coming months. Johnson & Johnson says it plans to seek emergency use authorization in February. Its COVID-19 vaccine requires only one dose compared to Pfizer and Moderna's two-dose regimen. Live in Pawtucket, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.